is your first Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. We are finally starting to break through this really intense cloud deck from earlier. The fog's out of the way. There was even some mist in the morning drizzle, but things are starting to brighten up. It's a little breezy. We are going to warm, especially now that the clouds are fracturing a little bit, but we're actually going to kind of get some more clouds to come off the mountains later. So today's just one of those days where it's going to be okay, but not as warm as everybody would like. It's 42 in the springs. Pueblo, we are only four degrees warmer at 46, still a grayish tint over the skies. We take a look at Woodland Park. It's crazy different. Woodland Park, we are in the 50s, and here is why, everybody. Cloud cover non-existent and it has been most of the morning. The clouds over Colorado Springs were so low you actually can't even really see it over the horizon. So Springs has a lot of blue sky over top over the city. But yeah, you go up and over into the mountains. We start to look and feel pretty good out there. Trinidad also looking absolutely stunning and it's beautiful at 66 degrees with some fluffy cumulus out there. But the Trinidad or the Trinidad area is still kind of under some high fire danger. The winds out of the east the moment over the city, but a little west wind is going to help bring some more warmth. Now this morning's pollen report is a little lower because of the moisture in the air from this morning, but drier skies through the afternoon will creep the pollens up. There's kind of a stuck warm front over Colorado. That's being noticed a little bit more off of the San Luis Valley. You're not really getting as much of that influence over southern Colorado, but it's kind of neat to see how the cloud cover in our terrain interact. So there's kind of three rises in southern Colorado. There's the Raton Mesa. There's, of course, the Front Range Mountains, the wet mountains that run down into the Sangre de Cristos, and there's the Raton Mesa, or excuse me, Palm Divide, our mountains in the Raton Mesa. So when that air is fed in from the east, it actually kind of travels up from the Raton Mesa and it gets blocked from the Palmer Divide and then it gets funneled into the Arkansas River Valley head and into Colorado Springs. So there's a reason all that cloud covers there, but some of the warmer westerly drier winds coming out of the San Luis Valley have helped keep a lot more of that sunshine out to our area. But Colorado Springs Pueblo, it's cold under those clouds. Here's the thing. We still have these active red flag warnings and we're still expecting pretty good fire danger from the San Luis Valley through that southern stretch of I-25. So over the next two hours at two o'clock, we'll still be fed easterly flow, cooler winds over the plains through La Junta, Pueblo, Colorado Springs, but from Alabosa, La Vida into Walsenburg, Trinidad, two o'clock to four o'clock, the winds will be pretty steep, gusting in the 30 to uh, 25 mile per hour range. And we're still gonna have some gusty winds out east, but by far through the end of the day, the fire concern and the strongest winds will be right in through here. And those west winds actually create a little frontal boundary as they smack into the east winds out in the center of Los Animas County. So what does that mean? Well, it means we'll stay windy, especially south through the end of the day. But overnight towards 8 o'clock, the winds will start to die back. Now, hitting the seven days a little early, but there's still quite a bit to talk about here. Today, we are forecasting a dry day, but now that the sun is trying to poke through the clouds, it's going to be in the next four hours where Colorado Springs, all of southern Colorado that had clouds, really tries to catch up. So my hope is that we can hit those mid-60s. We're on our way, and then tomorrow, with some sunshine, a lot more of it until we get to the afternoon, we are going to have pretty high fire danger, and we will be weather alert for red flag warnings. Thursday and Friday and Saturday, there are storm chances every single day that day. They all come in the afternoon and it's a two on the impact scale because we forecast lightning, thunder and possibly some small hail out of those storms. That's still to be seen, but this time of year, that's a pretty common thing, especially living in and around our elevation before we just get straight up hot next Monday. 86 in the Springs. Check out Pueblo. We're going 93 Pueblo out on Monday and until we get there, tomorrow's going to be a lot warmer with high fire danger. We're going to be cooler from Thursday through Saturday with those storm chances. Canyon City also sees storm chances from Thursday through Saturday. Pretty warm next week, 82 Sunday to 90 on Monday. High fire danger tomorrow. Woodland Park has elevated fire danger tomorrow. Can't rule out a spotty shower through the end of the afternoon today. Storms are more likely Thursday, Friday, Saturday and dry next week. Ira.